Today I will be showing you how to make this graphic in Canva. Now I'm using the free version of Canva so we'll only be using uh, the elements available to us and I will show you how you can use um, elements outside of Canva um, you know in a way to hack as they say Canva hack to make certain things possible so let's begin now I'm creating a 4x5 so I'm going to do a 1080 by 1350 document here for this design I will need to use some squares in order to create that cutout effect in the background but the problem is that I can't add um, shadows to, to squares, square shape. So what I would have to do is to save this as a JPEG and then import it as an image. But I cannot save um, images without the background. So in order for me to do this, I would have to get Canva Pro. And we're not doing that. So the alternative to this is to go to Google and I'm going to search for green square and then you can download um, a green square from here with whatever shade you want now with your square downloaded you can go ahead now and upload it into Canva and then it's from here you can go ahead and import it so let's just go ahead and do that now so the first thing I'm going to do is to create the background just like this then I want to bring in the image of my necklace and position it like this and then I can bring in that square that I was just talking about so I can resize it like this and then go to edit image shadows and I want to add a drop shadow to it Go into the settings for the shadow and I want to blur it a bit and then offset it just a bit like that. Blur it somewhere. Perfect. Now I want to match the background to this color of the, the square. So the background selected I go to color then I go to this color selection here select the eyedropper tool and then click on my square and there we have it it's the same color of um, the square here so duplicate the square by holding down on control and clicking d and then you want to go to flip flip horizontal now we have the square on the other side once you are done with that you need to go ahead and select the necklace and then go to edit image and we also want to add a slight drop shadow to that so go into the settings blur it just a bit and bring the transparency down bring the offset up you just want it to be very slight all right from here now you're pretty much done with the design and you can go ahead and add in um, your text so in this case, I'm going to add a heading here. You can make it white and then change um, the font to whatever you want. Um, let's do, no, not that one. Let's do Allegra. And then you can add another subheading and change that font to, what are we changing it to? Um, let's search for moonlight moon time right and there you have it that's so you can create something like this so this has a lot of use cases and you can use it to um, bring out the elegance of your product so go ahead try this let me know in the comments if it works for you and if you'd like to see me do anything else do remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and thank you so much for watching have a good day